Hello Transformer fans! This is Misfit Robot back with another Transformers video review. And this time I have an awesome review for you. This is the 2010 Power Core Combining Line. That's right, Destructicons. You heard that right. Destructicons with a D, which stands for dangerous. God, I can't believe I used that. Darkwing, Darkwing, Duck. Alright, let's, uh, you know, hear me joke on all night. Let's see these toys up close. I'm going to start with the uh, little guys. The little guys who made this possible. This is a uh, armored desert Humvee. I'm sorry, Jeep. The Humvee's over there. This is just armed to the teeth. We have a machine gun up here. Rocket launcher here, missile launcher here, laser gun here, explosive pack here, fuel tank here, mini machine gun pointed straight into the wheels, which, that, that's where I want my machine guns pointed, laser guns up front, and finally topped off with a Decepticon in a flaming, Decepticon symbol in a flaming logo. I think Michael Bay came and helped design this toy, because my god, that is a lot of guns. And it's awesome. Next is my personal favorite, the serrated cow catcher. This car looks like it just came out of Death Race with the armored windshield, the slick aerodynamic design, and the serrated cow catcher. How can you go wrong? This is by far one of my favorite limbs out of all of them. Just amazing. Next, I, I like to think this one's out of the Terminator movie. Yes, that's right. I will find an analogy for every single one. This one lacks in a few paint apps. Like, I feel they could have done a little silver up here to help highlight that this is armored. Like they did on the awesome, awesome Death Race car. But to make up for that, they gave it missiles. <laughs> missiles. Makes a body good. Besides that, it's kind of a standard little tow truck, yellow with tanks. This one's nowhere near as threatening as the rest. And last but not least, well, not last but not least, second to last, we have the rocket-powered Humvee. That's right. What do you think when you have a rocket-powered Humvee? Robbie Speed! I need, like, flames coming out the back. I'll complete this. This doesn't have any guns, but it doesn't need guns. It has flames, and jet engines, and a huge grill. I'll let you fill in the rest. Let's get a good look at this one all the way around. It's got some nice... I, I like when they do the little rivets and silver paint to really make these look like demolition derby cars. It, it really works for Decepticons. I originally thought this was a Stunticon update, which... I was very wrong, but I thought demolition derby cars would suit the Stunticons quite well. So last but not least, who's the leader of these Destructicons? None other than Bud Slinger. Here in a green paint job with blue stripes and silver... Uh, uh, silver shocks and the black wheels. They're not rubber, they're just solid plastic, but... Most season fans would realize that. We have the air scoop up front, black windows, some blue paint up here, power core bits. The underside doesn't look too bad. I've seen others look much more like robots. But I think a monster truck is just what the Decepticons need. Why? Let's see. Here are the innocent little rally bots just sitting here minding their own business. Draw! Draw! Oh! That's why the Decepticons need more monster trucks. Come on, all the Autobots are cars. That's easy pickings. So let's transform this. We're like two minutes in. Five minutes in. Ooh. Transform this. Transform it. You pull up first the power core bits. Then, you come and split the legs open. Ta-da! Once you do that, that will allow you to pull the arms out from the bottom. Split them open, and this whole section opens up. 
Alright, next, you're going to pull this back and splits open, and you're going to peg it on this peg down here. Right. Looks like I'm going to have to open the legs all the way before I do that. Ta da! And peg. Next, flip open the feet, which flips down the heel spur, and pull up the head. Next, pull the arms down and wrap the power core bits behind. And here you have Dun 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 Mudslinger, the leader of the Destructicons, a monster truck with attitude. Or should I say, Batitude. Oh, God, that was a bad joke. Thought of it on the fly. Here's a size comparison. Here he is with Huffer, the other truck. Yes, he's slightly shorter, but he's much fatter. Here's a profile view. He needs to go on Weight Watchers. It's been established. It's been confirmed. We all hate you, Huffer. You give other robots low self-esteem. Next, you're probably here, hoping to see the giant combined robot. And this is how it happens. You start by tucking the head in. Bam. Then you flip this front grill plate over. All right, bumper to reveal the giant head. Whoa! <laughs> you kind of have his alter eagle, alter ego mode here. Uh, a baboon. All right. Then you're gonna on peg it from the chest. Flip this over and connect it in. Make sure you press this all the way in. I wasn't pressing it in until it clicked, and it was loose and popping loose, and yeah, it just didn't work well. Next, tuck the arms up. They don't really lock on to anything. You just kind of place them up here, hope for the best. The instructions say there's some kind of tab, but I can't... There's a tab there, I just can't get it to hook onto anything. This one joint really doesn't like working, ever, for any reason. Just gonna kinda put that there and hope that's right. Pull these up. Flip the head around. Next, on the leg here, you're gonna pivot it all the way back. And there is a tab here that should go into a slot here, but if you hook it in, take the five minutes it takes to actually get that to clip in, you'll find it pops right back out. And, uh, it's really annoying. If it worked, it'd be fairly awesome, but it doesn't. <laughs> so it's annoying. And here we are, all done. We have its combined state. Kind of like most of the power cord line, it suffers from things not tapping well. So, we're going to start with the rabbit speed car. Rocket powered, as always. And we're going to plug it in. Now this is the only limb I have a problem with, because as you see, it doesn't completely open. I don't know if that's mine is defective or what, but I have shoved this thing all the way in. It won't go any further, and it doesn't open up all the way. So that's kind of a disappointing limb. However, the... Uh, the serrated cow catcher makes the most awesome limb ever. Because now the Destructicons have a steel toed boot of butt kicking. Or bot kicking, since these are transformers. Next, up here on the shoulder, we're going to take the Terminator tow truck, hook this on, bam, arm. And last but not least, we will take the Michael Bay dune buggy, hook it on the last arm for 100% awesomeness. Now, if you want to get like a running stance, that janky leg works great. You can even kind of, this arm works well for like a getting ready to claw you. Come on, balance. You know you want to. But for a straight standing pose, he doesn't work all that well. 
I'd say my two real big complaints are that foot that doesn't open all the way, and his head just looks funky. It looks like a monkey with giant ears, and it it loses from all the intimidation that the individual limbs, and even the monster truck mode really does, the head kind of makes me giggle. <laughs> it's a monkey. So those are my only real two big knocks against it. There are certain parts that don't really peg in the way they're supposed to. But it hasn't stopped me from enjoying the toy. And they haven't caused that much frustration. So overall, I'd really recommend this toy. I'd recommend the limbs, probably for another core. Though I do love playing with Mudslinger and running over robots. Which, by the way, that'll be my next review, <laughs> if you hadn't guessed. So, I hope this has been informative. I hope you learned something. So, until next time. Autobots, transform and roll out!